Food tip for ya. We are talking about fermented foods. We got the four Ks. I'm missing one of them, but we got kraut, sauerkraut, and we need to get some more. Honey, listen to me. Or no, I'm, I'm, I'm the guy who's gonna get that. Kimchi. We got the kimchi fermented cabbage in the Korean uh, area or, or comes from that culture. Uh, kombucha. Uh, definitely something you can create on your own. Watch out for too much sugar in those. Uh, kefir, which is fermented kind of yogurt. Yogurt tends to have some fermented properties as well. Um, kombucha can also be alcoholic and or you can have hard kombucha, um, probably less gut healthy. One big thing to tie into this, why I love bringing this up, why I love talking about this, why I'm gonna keep pushing all this is your gut health is connected to your brain health, it's connected to your fogginess, it's connected to every part of your body. So if you have injuries also, this is where we come back to the physical therapy thing, right? If you have injuries, you're gonna heal better by having a healthier gut because if you're gonna take in protein, it's gonna get to those joints, the shoulder pain, whatever's going on, we do need to look at what's happening there in the injuries, but coming back to it, gut health, is connected to everything. And one of my primary goals is to minimize chronic conditions, things that are avoidable. I'll keep talking about it. You know, my father passed away at 41 of a heart attack and I want to avoid that. I want other people to avoid that. It was a very avoidable thing. So fermented foods, they fit into your health equation. The last one I'm gonna talk about that doesn't fit into our four Ks, unfortunately, is pickles. So this is a good brand here. Uh, Grillo's, Grillo's pickles, uh, and dill chips, and they these are ni nice and cut up. They got some uh, garlic and things in there. They, they, these have some uh, like cloves of garlic, which is actually kind of fun to get every now and then when you're when you're grabbing in there. But the thing with pickles, I want to talk about real quick, and I just picked it up from Andrew Huberman. He has a great podcast, Huberman Lab. Someone I really trust and like to listen to brought up the fact that. If you're getting pickles from the store, if it's in the refrigerated section, it's probably got a lot more probiotic, healthy gut things going on. If it is in the non-refrigerated section and it's warm, most likely those active cultures are not as live and they're probably dead. Um, they're, they're probably not alive. So if it's from the, the non-refrigerated section, uh, keep an eye out for that. Another little trick, and I'm gonna shout out our friend Heather Moeller, here in Colorado. And uh, she pointed out that she got some pickles and they had yellow number five. Um, so any kind of color dye, things like that, we don't want to put that in our bodies, right? So stick with the healthy, uh, clean ingredients. Always check your ingredients on these. So we got our four Ks and a pickle, it has a K in there. So pick, oh, maybe it's five Ks. We'll just kind of be cheating on that fifth one. Um, try it out. Let me know how your gut health is, anything else you do for gut health. Obviously you can take probiotic supplement, something like that. Um, if you uh, want to play with that, again, always talk to your healthcare provider, functional medicine provider, anyone who you're working with, nutritionist, dietitian, there's all these different schools. Check out my Demand Better podcast where we talk about nutritionists and registered dietitians. Um, and other than that, hope you guys are having a healthy day. Hope you're staying thirsty. Hope you're staying hungry and you're eating, drinking the right stuff. We'll talk to you later. Hope this helped you get 1% better today. And moving forward, your gut health will thank you.